Our Heavenly Father, we want to come before your presence because you are the Almighty God. And we want to come before you to ask for the country of El Salvador, this country that bears your name, the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And we would like to pray for the life of the President and his family, and also for his cabinet. We pray that they will leave the country with wisdom, with the wisdom that comes not from below, but the one that comes from above. We pray for a fear of the Lord in the decisions that they are making, Lord. We pray for the Assembly, the National Assembly, Congress. Pray for wisdom and for a spirit of humbleness that they will realize that without you, nothing good can happen in our country. We would like to pray against the violence that is happening as well, Lord, and present before you this situation where there's a lot of criminal activity and violence uh, after the Civil War was concluded. We especially pray for the gangs, the thousands of young people involved in gangs. Lord, we just pray in the name of Jesus that you will come to the young people, to these who are in search of uh, identity, touch the lives of young men and young women, Lord, of children who are involved in this kind of life, in that their lives will be turned around, just like Saul when he was uh, touched by you, Lord, on, on the way to Damascus, that all this energy, all this uh, hate that they have in their hearts will be turned into peace and joy and love that only comes from an encounter with you. We pray for your provision, especially for those in the margins, the very needy ones, the poor people, those who live in the little villages or small marginal areas of the main cities of the country. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for your church, Father, that you will raise it up at times such as this to make a difference. Pray for that 30, 35, 40 percent of evangelicals in the country, that they will really shine, Lord, for you that their lives, their work, their testimony, the, the transformation that comes from you will make an impact in that nation. We thank you, Father, for El Salvador, and we continue to pray for it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.